How's it going folks, my name is Tazat and this is like the fifth time I've recorded this commentary. I'm getting so annoyed with myself now, but uh, anyway, this is another Call of Duty video that I am making, but this time it is not going to be a topic based one, the next one I'll post will be. Uh, but this one, oddly enough, is kind of tips and tricks, because everyone knows, everyone knows tips and tricks the way forward in YouTube, everyone cares about Call of Duty now, getting them good scores, and posting them flawless 20 billion and oh gameplays. <laughs> anyway, like I say, this uh, this video is actually tips and tricks, and before anyone starts saying, oh, I know this tips and tricks, and I've seen this video before, and such and such has made a video, I'll be honest, guys, I've never, never looked up tips and tricks, because I've never seen the point. Um, not that I never don't see the point in tips and tricks videos, I just don't see the point personally. I don't really need tips and tricks. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoy this one, and like I say, I've not seen it anywhere because I haven't been looking for it, there might well be uh, tips, because it's quite an obvious tip slash trick. But uh, anyway, uh, prior to this actual game, I was in the lobby with my friend Mark, and uh, we decided to get some good scores, or we had done the whole day, and um, we worked out a quick way that if we just stayed in this building, uh, we could rack up some good kills. Now if you look, what I'm doing here is I'm just standing behind cover, this is obviously obvious, because standing behind cover is always going to help. But the idea that me and Mark came up with was just holding down this area, and some people might say we're camping. Uh, that guy's actually camping, just stood in a doorway with a shotgun. But it's not camping because we were actually more patrolling a certain area, holding it down, and in the long term, getting some good scores. Because realistically, if you are to hold down an area and stay alive for a long period of time in an area, killing lots and lots of people, then those people are going to get rather annoyed and they're going to want to come back and they're going to try and get a revenge kill on you. They're going to basically just want to kill you because they're frustrated that you've been killing them so many times and it's an easy way of constantly picking people off. The idea that it's supposed to be two is it's very handy to have two people kind of watching the back, following you to the doors if you see red dots on the map. You know you can go over and cover them to help them out a little bit. And it's, so it's incredibly helpful if you're going to play or take on this style of just holding down the plaza to do it with a friend because you could do this on your own but it would be a little bit harder for a few reasons which I'll go over in this video. Obviously holding down the plaza is quite easy, all you've got to do is stick behind cover and make sure you know if you can where the people are so ideally run uh, non-lethal kill streaks and try and get the things like the UAVs, orbital VSAT and counter UAVs just to distract them a little. Like I say, I knew these people were around this area through 100 killer got no kills, but I knew they'd be going into the plaza where they were trying to kill. My phone's now gone off this time. Wow. <laughs> but like I say, they'd be trying to come back and kill us. Another one there, running in head first. And one of the best things you want to do is make sure you constantly reload. I see a red dot there, got duck behind some cover and immediately fall back and reload. Getting back into cover, reloading again. You see how easily it uh, is done because uh, as they're running towards you, they will probably not have their gun out. They will be sprinting to get to you as fast as possible. The more wound up they get. And then as they run at you with essentially no gun out, uh, you pick them off rather easily, fall back, reload, uh, rinse and repeat kind of cycle. There is no uh, amazing effort needed to be put in, but if you are going to attempt this, or not attempt this because it's not that hard, but if you're going to do this or use this technique, make sure you've got a gun that you know is versatile, a gun you are comfortable with, uh, it does not suck, ideally. And the MP7, obviously, rather ideal. Pretty decent magazine size, high rate of fire for those close quarters, spray and pray situations. But also not bad at picking people off coming through doorways. As you saw there, there was a bit of range. All I did, stand away from him, so uh, it's hard for him to shoot and pick him off. Annoyingly, that guy did get me. Uh, I wasn't behind cover very well, so there was more of me to shoot. And also, my accuracy just went terrible for a split second. So that was kind of annoying. That is how that guy got me. But had I been in cover and been more accurate with my shots, kind of uh, tap the trigger rather than just spray, I probably would have got him. Uh, but more of those heat at the moment things. If you're going to venture outside of the little plaza area to where I am now, um, picking people off like that because they'll be looking left and right uh, down the sets of stairs. Also, one thing you can do is, if you're in this main area here, bob and weave either side of the pole in the middle, because when they're spraying at you, they're just going to be hitting the pole, and you're going to know exactly where they are, stood still at the entrance, and the door is essentially like a big target. It's like a 
big kind of bullseye. All you've got to do is get within that doorway and you're probably going to hit them. And if you're bobbing and weaving either side of that pole, they're probably not going to hit you. So that is something to remember. Uh, keep moving if you can, because that makes it harder for them. Might make it harder for you, but if you're not a, if you're not a not very good Call of Duty player, uh, you should be able to do very well. If you are a player who seems to struggle, do not worry because uh, you can actually just sit fairly behind cover, stay in the actual main area rather than branching out either side like I am here picking off that guy. You could just stay behind the main bar area knowing that you can still pick anyone off who comes through the doorways. And if you are running with a buddy, he will obviously be able to do the running for you if he's also good. If not, you can just have each other's backs kind of go back to back and pick them off from each doorway. Also helps having a friend with you if you actually are running lethal kill streaks because then you will be able to uh, keep each other's backs when um, when you're calling in lethal kill streaks and controlling them and you're not able to defend yourself. Like you'll see here, bobbing either side, falling back, reloading, picking people off. This is pretty much wrapped up this commentary. Like I say, please don't hate if you've seen the tip elsewhere. That guy sneaks up on me because I wasn't watching my back. And if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I hope you have some fun maybe implying this or implementing this into your own gameplay. I don't normally do tips and tricks videos, guys. This is why this one was a little bit rusty, but I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, thank you. I love you all, folks, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.